it's not difficult. It's just about being smart and knowing knowing when you get the ball. That we get the ball at 25, so it's better to get the ball at 25 than make a return. It's not get that many yards. So it's just about being smart. How good did that one feel though to to kind of end the game the way you did with that? Uh, it, it felt good just because I haven't returned one in a while, and being able to make that return one made me feel like I can make, still be able to make an impact on the team and in the game. When you when you catch a touchdown pass, what do you see your impact now in the, in the passing game? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just continuing to just do work, grind on hard as I always have and always will. So and just maybe hopefully I move up. Well. But as far as now, I'm just continuing to work and practice as hard as I can. You were dinged up a little bit earlier in the season. I mean, when did you finally start to get fully healthy, and did, did you feel like that kind of contributed to your play this past Saturday? Oh, yeah, fully getting fully healthy. Sadly, missing two two games is, is sadly, but when we heard, you know, how much as we use as use my feet, I needed to make sure I wouldn't mess anything up again. But being out those two weeks helped and made me realize I got to take better care of my body. So going to treatment and everything is, is mandatory and make sure I'm good and go so I won't have that problem again. What are you seeing from Ole Miss's defense and special teams on the field? Uh, you know, they're, as any team is in the SEC, they're sound on any special team defense. So it's just we have to come with our A game every kickoff return, and every kickoff and every play on. Special teams really came around these last, I mean, really after, ever since the A&M kick off. Has that just been a pride thing or just where you feel that the team's really just kind of been getting it now and what to do? It's a little bit of both. Coach, Coach Morris always says, come on, bro. we got to bond together as a brotherhood. And I think now more we are bonding together as a brotherhood and we taking pride in what we do in our jobs. Thank you. Just uh, going to Little Rock, thoughts on, on playing down there? Uh, even though I'm not, not from here, but being able to go to Little Rock and play is it's amazing. I've heard that the stadium gets crazy when it's my game. Listening to Jerry Red and Santos tell, talk about the atmosphere that I'm just waiting to play and get my opportunity. How have you seen Ty's story evolve over the last few weeks? Ty, Ty has been great, man. Ty and Cole, actually. Cole has been motivating him, and Ty has been great. He's been progressing. Actually, not just only Ty, the whole offense and defense has progressed week after week after week. Watch, we are continually getting together and bonding as a brotherhood, and that that's great, man. He has been doing great. We've been doing great the whole line. Everybody has been doing great and having his back. When did you feel you could make an impact in the past couple of months? Um, well, and we're seeing in practice, being able to understand offense and practice hard at 100 percent without making any mistakes is when I realize, okay, hey, you can you can do this. Just take your time, practice, get help if you need it, and just be able to when your numbers call, just make it count. How much confidence does your offensively having scored the most against Alabama and got the most yards against? Uh, Though the offense, offense is real confident now. Not just because we scored a third but it's the fact that to get we are coming together and everything is seeming to set in, set in. You know, we've been rocky in the beginning of the season, but now that doesn't matter. It's in final season games. And as offense, we look, we are happy. We are just keeping getting better and better every practice and every week. What was that 